Hi, I'm MWRD President Carrie K. Steele. Managing stormwater for the Chicago region requires partnerships. At the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, we collaborate with local municipalities and public agencies to develop innovative stormwater management plans and projects with an emphasis on green infrastructure. Green infrastructure projects capture and hold water where it falls and often includes attractive landscaping and permeable pavers. Each year, we issue a call out for green infrastructure projects that aim to reduce flooding, protect area water quality, and enhance public spaces. The projects that we ultimately support and fund include elements such as rain gardens, permeable streets, parking lots, and green alleys, like this location here in Harwood Heights. Hi, my name is Arlene Gizerni. I'm the mayor of the village of Harwood Heights, and very happy to be here. We're at the alley between Argyle and Winnemac, between Olcott and Oriel. This is one of our first green alleys that we attempted to do in the village. It's become very successful, and we're very happy with it. Well, we are definitely landlocked, we're a small community, and when we experience the heavy rainfalls, rain essentially has nowhere to go. You don't want water to just surge into your streets, clogging your sewers, flooding your streets, damaging cars, or damaging surrounding property. So what we did is we entered into a intergovernmental agreement with the MWRD, and they were very, very helpful. It's a partnership, a partnership that we had in order to solve a problem, solve an issue. Uh, we identified this alley as one of the first alleys in the village and to basically put it as a test run. We're very, very happy with it. And as a matter of fact, we're working on a second alley. Uh, what the green alley concept does is it keeps water in the alley and infiltrates down into the ground. So to eliminate the surge that's going into your sewers, into the streets, into people's homes causing damage. And this worked out very well for us. Uh, we met with a number of different engineers and members of MWRD and uh, they gave us a lot of options. They identified certain areas in the village. We had a great feedback from residents in the area that came and told us their stories. They also had a, exhibits at our local school. And uh, they told us some of the options that we could do as far as bioswales and rain barrels, which we tried. But during heavy rainfalls, sometimes that's just not enough. So they told us about the Green Alley concept. So we went to the Union Ridge School, we took a look at the concept itself, saw how it works, and George S. Macopoulos and I, who is our project director, we went over and looked at it and thought this was the perfect alley to start this process so that we can eliminate some of that surge and try to infiltrate the water going directly down into the ground, which would help us a lot. My name is George Simakopoulos. I'm from the Village Howard Heights. I'm the director of projects and buildings. Basically, the first time we heard about it and stuff, did my own research, you know, searched, you know, the web, looking, asking questions by different engineering firms, touching base with MWRD. We had nothing but great feedback from MWRD. They were very responsive to us. Over the years, as you guys all know, the rain events have gotten dramatic. This green alley has done a great job. We had a small rain event uh, last Saturday. We had an inch and a half of rain, less than 30 minutes. Monday, I stopped over there. A few residents were out there. I said, how was it? And they're like, you know what? That rain came so fierce, I thought this wasn't gonna work. And you know what? We could not believe how the water was literally going and seeping through. So they were, they were, they were amazed, you know? I mean, can you make everybody happy? Everybody thinks that you're gonna relieve all the water off the street. That's that's on attention. We're trying to reduce the amount of water and damages that can be done to our local streets, our vehicles, and houses. My name is John LaPaglia. I'm a project manager with Christopher Burke Engineering. Uh, to me, a green, green alley provides uh, some type of stormwater benefit. Um, so to me, when I think of a green alley, I think of the permeable pavers. Water is able to infiltrate through and then stay in the storage aggregate. Um, a typical alley is concrete asphalt. Water cannot infiltrate through the pavement. Uh, it'll just sit on top of the pavement. Uh, so construction timing um, for this T alley, 
uh, I want to say it was roughly 40 working days, um, so typically anywhere from 10 to 15 working days uh, per alley. Uh, there's about 700 linear feet of alley reconstruction here. Uh, it is a four foot wide paper center line and four foot concrete on each side um, with additional concrete to tie into the driveways. Communities should consider green alleys. Uh, green infrastructure in general provides major stormwater quality benefits and reduces the load on the existing stormwater systems. As far as meeting with other mayors and other communities, I would certainly recommend this, especially if they're landlocked to a point or they have areas in their village that constantly flood. I would definitely look into the green alley concept, whether it's in a parking lot, whether it's in an alley, whatever it would be to help you infiltrate water down into the ground and not cause damage. I have had nothing but good reports from the residents around here. They are so thrilled about this alley. And now I'm getting other communities, other alleys, I'm sorry, saying we want this alley too. But we're first concentrating on our flood prone alleys so that it could fulfill a need. And that's our main purpose. And I'm sure that other communities, if you get repeat flooding, like I said, you know, please look into this. It's really a great deal. As soon as you see or get an email on the call for projects, I would highly recommend you taking a look at it and if you want to come by here in the village of Harwood Heights and see for yourself how it works we'll be glad to show you. Green alleys and other green infrastructure projects absorb more water and prevent it from overwhelming local sewers, basements, waterways and streets. Since 2017 we have completed or we're planning to complete 60 green infrastructure projects throughout Cook County. 21 projects are scheduled for completion this year. These 60 projects will retain more than 6.6 .6 million gallons of stormwater each time it rains. In addition to managing stormwater, green infrastructure provides environmental and community benefits. We encourage municipalities and other government agencies to reach out to the MWRD Consider green infrastructure and apply for funding assistance today.